I have volunteer tomato plants coming up and this is a pretty exciting thing for me because I didn't have to plant any this year. Look, we had a really big crop of them last year and they were heirloom tomatoes. And so at the end of the season when, you know, we just couldn't keep picking any more or when or when we didn't get them off the vine soon enough, we would just let them decompose back into the earth. And well, <laughs> they came back this year. I'm pretty excited. Pretty, pretty excited. I know that's, is that one? Yeah, I think that's one. That's one. That's one. See these ones you can see have like I don't know, maybe second and third leaves. Well, then you have like really, really little ones. Let me see if I can find a really little one. This Okay, this one just has second leaves. See this? This is the first leaf. And then this one that's kind of scalloped, that's the second leaf. Once the tomato plants get their second leaves, they're a lot easier to identify. There, there. Here, that one's got some bugs on it, but... Hey, they came back completely on their own. This one's been eaten a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know how many I'll survive. I hope they all do. This would be great. This is a good example. You can see the first leaves and the second leaves are just starting to come up. Look at this. This is great. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little itty bitty one. You can see the second leaves are just coming out. So you just see these two long skinny leaves. Oh, so excited. So excited, and we, we are still, you know, we haven't used all of our canned tomato sauce that we made last summer. So this is super exciting. I'm hoping I'll have enough to share with the neighbors again. That'd be great. We should, we should definitely should have enough. I mean, you see how many of these little baby plants are everywhere. There's one, that's a weed. Well, it's not, I don't know what it is but I don't want it in my garden right now. I don't know what that is. Little clovers. I pulled up a bunch of the dead nettle. I know you can use that with stuff, but I needed some space for my tomatoes. There's a little baby tomato. There's a little baby tomato. There's a baby tomato. Here's a baby tomato. See, that's dead nettle right there. I hear squirrels over in the garages next door eating something. Here's more. And I got there the whole way down. The whole way down. You see, I have, like, tomato cages. Not because they're actually needed just yet. It's more so just as a marker. Because I've got kids. There are kids that live in the building, and we need to be able to have them understand that there's stuff in here, and they need to keep out. And that's also a good reminder for the adults so we know where they are. Oh, I think this is a this is a first, just a seedling. See, there's two leaves right here. See it? Yeah. It doesn't have its second set of leaves yet. Got little spring onions coming up or wild chives, or whatever people call them, I don't know. A tomato, a potato. <laughs> there's another one, the whole way down. Well, here's a big one. This one's got a couple. It's down, already up to its one, two, third set of leaves. There's more over here and there. It's pretty exciting stuff. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one right here. It's a big one. Right there. Pays off to get the heirloom tomatoes. You might get volunteers the next year. Whole way down.
that last set of bricks. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs>